Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I make my duck soup for my ferrets. So, um, you need a bowl with warm water, a spoon, either like the mix or like the actual like homemade, ferritone, and ferrovite. So the first thing I do is I get some warm water into the bowl. It's just halfway filled and it's like warm. Like you can't have it too hot or it might burn your little ferret's mouth. The next thing I do is I take my Ferrovite. I got this at Petco and just squirt a little bit in. You can use your spoon to get it off, but this is like a really good treat for ferrets. So I put a little bit of that in there. Then I kind of wash off my spoon, and it looks really nasty in the water, but I'm just going to dry off my spoon right here. And I open up to Uncle my. Um, mix, which is Uncle Jim's original duck soup mix, and you can get this at Petco for um, six dollars. But I take about this much and pour it in. Take one more, like smaller than the other one, and pour it in. And this stuff does kind of stink, but that's okay. Like, if you want your favorite to be happy. And then I pour just like a little bit of ferritone in. Or ferro. Yeah, ferritone. This helps with the skin. And now you just mix. You want to be sure to mix it really good. And it kind of sticks to the bottom of it, so... Just kind of stir it up. Make sure you don't have the chunk of Ferrovite in it because, like, hold on, I'll find a piece. And this is all actually blended this time. But... Okay. So this is the finished duck soup. It should be liquidy. But that's how I make mine. <coughs> For the moment, as I got a new recipe from one of my Instagram gram friends, which I will I'll make an Instagram video later, but yeah, he hasn't he has a really great recipe that I would love to try. But so we're gonna get our little ferret now. This is Oliver, as some of you know, but it's Oliver. So we're going to see if he wants any. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ducky soup. And this is, duck soup is actually a mix that helps, um, hmm, what it does. It... Provides additional nutrition for your ferrets or for post surgery recovery, finicky eaters, or ailing ferrets. Like, order ferrets. But he loves it. Like, he just started taking it yesterday. I don't know why, but he did. So that's kind of what he likes. But he's just going to chill for a little bit and eat or drink his duck soup. But I'm kind of glad that he likes it. But if you have a stubborn ferret, I can show you what you can do. Okay, so if you have a picky ferret, this is Spencer, my super little picky boy. He's super skinny right now because he is really picky. And I had to get a different food. But anyway, what you can do is you can get a syringe. I think this is what this is called. But, so... Hold the ferret there for a second.
fill it up with a little bit of the duck soup. Right there. Okay. And you hold the ferret like this. Look what is Oh, he's licking it. Oh, yum, yum. Yummy. I have no idea why he's taking this today, but he did not do it yesterday. Oh, buddy. I'm going to take the duck soup from down the bowl. Look at the bowl. There's duck soup. Well, that was weird. He just took some. <laughs> but you can put him in a Superman position with their back legs on something. I'll demonstrate. Like this. Their back legs and their front paws slightly off the ground and scruff and give them some if they choose. But little Oliver, he is Spencer. Oh my goodness. Spencer, he's a little stubborn boy, but he will still drink. Here. Here, buddy. the bowl. Hmm. I'm going to feel a little drink, but that is how I make my duck soup. For all of you that were wondering, whoa, I can't do this on my face. Sorry. Okay, but I'm just kind of in pajamas and short pants. But, this is the mix. Hmm. This is what it looks like. This is just when I first got them and I had no idea, like, like if they would take it, but they did. So I'm going to try a new recipe. And here's the fer ferritone. And then, the fair of light. This is a great treat, or when you're like trimming their nails, or cleaning their ears, or something like that. You just put a little bit on their stomach, like the belly button. Well, like, hold on. I'll demonstrate. No, I won't. Anyway, you just put it like right there on your ferret, and they'll lick, and you can do their nails. But yeah, so, that's how I make my dubs. Dup, dup. Duck soup, and... If the syringe doesn't work for you, you can also try a straw. And you know how you can do that. Yeah. You can do that with duck soup. But well, thanks guys for watching. Bye.